Now, as China's economy grows, so does the need for power. In fact, power shortages in the most industrialized provinces were not uncommon in recent years, and it is clear that the country needs to generate much more power than it currently does. Now, with increasing concerns about air quality, climate change, shortage of fossil fuels, nuclear energy is being looked to as an alternative to coal, uh, alternative to coal in fact, to try and power up the country. Michelle Singh brings us a closer look at the future of nuclear power here in China. Currently, less than 2% of China's energy needs is supplied by nuclear power, as opposed to close to 80% in France and 14% globally. As of 2012, the nation has 16 nuclear power reactors, and 26 are currently being built. That sounds like a lot, but China also does need a lot. Electricity consumption rose 11.7% in 2011. Right now, most of China's electricity is produced from fossil fuels and hydropower. But rapid growth in demand has given rise to power shortages. As much as the country may want to expand on wind and solar energy, the amount these sources can produce is very limited. Some experts say the only way to meet demand for clean energy is the nuclear way. Nuclear power in China is an absolute necessity, both in the short and long term. Energy demand is increasing continuously. We can't only rely on fossil fuel anymore. Using nuclear power to support the increasing power demand is economical and environmentally friendly. The technology is also relatively mature. We hope in the future we can increase the percentage of electricity produced by nuclear power to 20 to 30 percent. And under steady development, I predict we can produce 150 to 200 gigawatts by 2030. Safety also flashes to the forefront of concerns when talking about nuclear power. Following the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan, China announced plans to freeze all nuclear plant approvals and to thoroughly check the safety of existing reactors, including those under construction. But some worry that the suspension would only delay development progress. China has suspended approvals for a year and a half now. The suspension doesn't necessarily lead to improvement in technology. After the safety check, we didn't find any major problems in the existing reactors or the ones under construction. If this keeps going, it won't help with the quality of construction, operation or production capacity. Zhou adds that nuclear power plants, if constructed properly, are relatively safe. As far as China's capability is concerned, the country is rapidly becoming self-sufficient.